just upstream from Cross Lake is the Genpeg Generating Station, the first plant on the Nelson River system. Genpeg is a key component to the successful operation of all other Nelson River plants. In addition to generating up to 132 megawatts, enough electricity to power a city of about 40,000 people, Genpeg's powerhouse and spillway are the linchpin of Hydro's Lake Winnipeg Regulation Works. Although Lake Winnipeg Regulation was developed primarily for flood control purposes, it also ensures that an adequate supply of water is always available for downstream generating stations by improving outflows from the lake into the Nelson River system, especially during the winter months when ice can obstruct the lake's natural outlet at Warren Landing. Genpeg is different from most Manitoba hydro generating stations in two major ways. The design of the plant and the origin of the station's generators. In other Nelson River stations, water from the river flows downwards towards the generator over the vertical shaft turbine blades and then out the back of the station through the draft tube, taking advantage of the large waterfall created by the station structures. But at Genpeg, the turbine generators are positioned horizontally in the water flow. They're called bulb turbines, and they look like a miniature submarine. Designed and built in the Soviet Union, the water flows all around the turbine generator unit before exiting out the station's draft tubes. When these units were installed, it was the first time bulb turbines had been used in North America and it is still one of the few places outside of Russia and Eastern Europe that features Soviet technology. Construction of Genpeg started in 1972 and was finished in 1979. Despite more functions at all of hydro stations being handled via remote control, there will always be a need for staff at Genpeg because of the station's remote location and unique equipment.